Monthly 1990. Does M18 not start now? It does indeed, right now. We're waiting for it. Alright, guys. Let me get my kill count Otron started. Okay. We have a. Let's see, how many teams do we have registered? We have a decent chunk of teams by the looks of this. Okay. 16 teams by the looks of that. Yeah, 16 teams. So we have a, you know, a fair few. Decent chunk. Okay, a decent chunk. Let's see, do we see any any teams in particular? Uh, we have uh, Thyskin on his with his Ugandan Warriors, okay? And we have Flash here as well. So these are two teams certainly to watch, guys. Definitely to watch here, okay? We'll get into them as soon as they actually start. Now, this is interesting. This is Helm, guys, okay? This is a Core Guardian. But, okay, don't let his Core Guardian self fool you. Okay, do not let that fool you guys, okay? He often has a very fearsome team as well. For example, in Toronto Legends, he was playing with uh, Zan, I believe, and Rom. Okay, and Draza, and Kazas, okay? So, very scary team here potentially as well, guys. Okay, coming up for this. this is, you know, there you go. So, we have three teams already that are indeed fearsome. Where is, um... Oh, actually, uh, yeah. Team Olympus, they do so many ATs, they'll get like a free buy, right? So, there, you know, that's, that's it, right? So this is another team to actually watch out for, in my opinion. Like, Team Olympus, if they actually all got invoice, they could like free win monthly AT. But this is definitely a big deal team. This is the Vin Aeon team. Often plays with Pain, okay, and they've called Sigadil, okay, Master Revenant. And I don't know who else is on their team. I'm sorry, uh, sorry, Team Olympus. But they're all good, okay? They're all good. So we have several players, several teams that are very, very uh, fearsome, guys. Okay, fearsome classes. You fixed the bug with less than 10 score? No, I didn't. I, I have to put some effort into it. I have to fucking... I'll, I'll, I, I don't really... Okay. Ooh, okay, the games are starting to starting to start. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can hop into one of the, the big meme games, okay? Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Okay, all right, all right. Ugh. So... I don't know this Mirage. I'm a bit out of touch with the PvP scene right now, so I don't know who this guy is. But we've got Double Rev. Okay, so the blue team have our Firebrand, just the conventional setup here on the Firebrand here. With the Flock Rune, not the Monk Rune. Like, uh, the Monk Rune is pretty popular right now, but Flock Rune instead for that extra vitality, a bit of extra meat, okay, on this build here. And then we have the um, Renewed Focus variant of... Uh, of Guardian right now to refresh those tomes and as a result that you don't have the mantra so you take stand your ground for that juicy stability with the contemplation of purity so meditations paying off there guys that meditation trait big value right there then we have the other fire now this is an interesting setup here we, we instead of the scourge right we have um Rocketon who plays this hybrid very interesting hybrid build with our radiance here guys radiance honor uh, and firebrand here so he's very much uh a, a support, right? But also a DPS, almost like a DPS in a way, right? He can kind of hold his own in 1v1s. He can really do a lot of big damage, but also apply very nice boons too. What is this, dude? What is this song? Okay. Oh, anyway, here we go. The team fight is going to commence on middle, and we don't have a firebrand for the, for the red team here. So, I mean, like, in theory, uh, blue team should completely annihilate them in the actual team fights, but the 1v1... Is where things are really interesting here, because of course the Mirage should be able to take down uh, the Guardian, I would expect, certainly. But already we have the blue team kind of converging on the red team, taking them down. They will be four. I think the, the red team are going to get forced out of this teamfight pretty soon. Upa! Upa is trying to get away. No, Upa is dead. Will he get cleaved out? Is he going to get stomped out? Yes, he is. He's going to get crushed. We actually have the Condi Rev um, from Tenebrae, of course, as usual. Bit of an interesting choice here, but actually played to decent success uh, in tournaments by this player, but red team kind of gets destroyed here. Feels pretty bad. Uh, and actually, guys, check this shit out. We actually have the Firebrand. Look at this. Mirage, guys, has been countered. Okay? The Mirage has lost the 1v1 against the Firebrand here. The sustain with the two tomes enough to actually shut down the Mirage. And blue team is basically free winning at this point. Pushing it. No, no, I, no. Get rid of this song. Oh my god. Please get rid of it. Okay. It's four. We're free. Okay, good. Right. Moving on. 
Big damage. Blue team is going for the big cap here. They actually get the kill as well. They get the kill on the Spellbreaker. He's going to be left to bleed out, and the Mirage is going to be holding that point as well. The... Uh, Soul Beast hit, going for a cheeky decap. He is going to get it, but the Firebrand is moving. It's actually Red getting some very nice decaps here. But how long is that going to last when the blue team has figured out where they are? They've located them, and now they're moving in. This is actually a Scepter Mirage, interesting enough. I saw those weird projectiles getting... Is it a Scepter Mirage? I think it is, right? Yeah, it's the... Yeah, it's, this is like the AIDS build, right? Like the Mega AIDS build. The Wizard Amulet with the Scepter Pistol and Axe Torch instead of the Staff. It's like a big, big AIDS there. Uh, they are well, he's desperate. He's trying to hold on to the mid node. Dezak running around, evading the blue team. But how long is that going to last, guys? This Mirage is not really going to have to do anything. I don't know what I don't know what he's doing here. I mean, he's he's. I think he's trying to end the game a bit quicker by feeding another sneaky decap by our red team here. Okay. But I mean, how is that really going to be enough? I don't think it is, guys. The spell breaker. He's going to go when he's in rampage. He's big. He's mad. But I don't think it's going to be enough, guys. Mirage is going crazy, evading all over the place like a lunatic. Okay. Mid node held by blue now. We have the Firebrand on the other side of the map, taking this 2v2 with the Rev. And the thing is about this guy is like the, the Firebrand, although it also is a competent 1v1er, it's also a very strong 2v2 because, of course, it has that support, it has that sustain. So when you have that extra player, if you're playing against um, something that isn't a Firebrand, you'll almost certainly win. Because not only do you have nice cleave, nice damage output from these symbols, you also have very, very strong healing. So he's able to easily sustain his teammate and absolutely crush this 2v2 here. This is why I think hybrid builds are really fun. And uh, this, this is a really, really cool little build that, well, this guy always plays it. You can actually see him stream as well. He's going to shit. It's an intense 1v1 between the Coldy Rev and Ligzy on mid. I think red team is starting to... Yeah, red team. Oh, no. Red team has given up hope. Oh no! He has hard AFK'd. Oh, yeah, now uh, check this out, guys. There's gonna be like a kill every second now uh, because there's actually a little glitch here. Uh, when, uh, if there's a three cap on Temple, um, it actually thinks there's a kill every second, right? Because the way the kill count I'm trying to work is it's checking to see if the score increases by five or more, right? Basically, okay? Uh, every single time. Yeah, it's MAT right now, Roy. It's fucking MAT right now, buddy. Come on, what the hell? Anyway, there you go, guys. Check that shit out. Is this an ArcDBS plugin? No, no, this is a thing I made myself. It's a little custom little uh, thing that, uh, that I already had set up, dude. Okay. Let's go. But anyway, I mean this this game's over. Let's go check something else. Let's let, let, let's see let's see uh, let's see who, uh, the, you know let let's see the uh, fucking Ugandan warriors, shall we? They must be in a game by now. Let's check this out. Honestly, this will probably be a bit of a bit of a stomp as well. It is indeed. Ooh, interesting. What do we have going on here? Oh, a different type of composition. Very interesting, actually. This could be their undoing. I mean, I don't want to be the um, you know the, the 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 bearer of bad news, but we actually well maybe maybe they'll actually maybe they'll swap out uh, at a, a later time. But we actually see a very very different composition being played uh, by our blue team here. Uh, we have the Hollow Smith from Iceken. Fly, obviously on Thief as usual. God of Slayers! Boys, of course, on the Soul Beast, okay? Kiting, he's on the barrel, where, you know, where, this is where he likes to be, guys, okay? He's on the barrel, he loves it, okay? Traumatex on Spellbreaker here, not uh, the Rev that he was playing on last time, so. And then finally, we have the Chrono coming out from Gorna. That Scepter, disgusting AIDS Chrono, look at him go, dude. With the Radiance Rune for that Chaos Armor, extra duration, guys. Big, big boons, okay? Big Scepter Threes, that's what he's going to be connecting here, guys. And spamming that Signet for hard distortion and extending those boons out, guys. That's what he's going to do. So, kind of, uh, you know, steering away from that conventional team fight composition of the Firebrand Scourge. I hate to say it, guys. I mean, I, 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 you know, I think, um, you know, these are, these are, you know, you'd consider this to be one of the tournament favorite teams. But I think this may be difficult to actually pull off if they decide to stay with this, guys. This will get punished versus a Firebrand Scourge if they know what to do. But maybe they can make it work. Maybe they can make it work, guys. Okay, they can maybe make it work. We'll have to see. Or maybe they'll swap. Who knows? I mean, they could just be like fucking trolling in the early rounds. Okay. Because to be fair, a lot of these games are very free. Uh, I mean, well, there's no flame. It's just fucking real, dude. Um, yeah, it's that. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. 
It is exactly what it is. Ah, oh, Roy! I think that's right anyway. I'm sorry, I, I thought the AT started in an hour from now. Oh, it's all good. I didn't realize it was an hour earlier, but I guess it's I haven't really missed anything, have I? Uh, no, not yet. Just in the, you know, the first round as usual. Very good. Just, uh, Very good. you know, at the usual clown fiesta is happening, so. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, we're just, you know, moving on to some, some more games pretty shortly, but yeah, there you go. Did you want to make a call? Um, well, now the thing is, I do kind of want to have the, I should make the bot be able to join calls. I really should, actually. Mm -hmm. But then the well, thing if you is, don't want to, sorry. Yeah, no, because the then you can't spectate. It's fucking AIDS, actually, right? Yeah, that's all right. I mean, you know, just, you know, if I, it's not a big deal if I can't spectate. I can just yell. Yeah, just like just like ah! yell. At, uh, uh, yeah. So what, what do you think about this? Uh, do you think that uh, Askin is going to stay with this this comp? Yes. They think that they're gonna they're gonna oh they play. Do you, do you know? Do you, like, yes. They are gonna stay. They are gonna play with this. Yes. They. Uh, I I think if if they can't win on this, they don't want to win. Fair enough. They don't, uh, they don't really care about uh, winning as much as I think other teams might. Like, I don't know. I mean, they've, they've never really played. Um, the only person who isn't playing the, one of their main classes uh, is Gornet, and he's playing Chrono. Chrono Everyone else yeah. is just playing, like, their main class. Yeah. All right, I think they just want to play that. Oh, oh, wow. Now, this is a fun one. Wow. This is a game we have to watch, Roy. Okay. It's next one is is Flash versus uh, Thoskin immediately. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Oh, uh, I don't know, dude. I really think. All right. Maybe you should screen share. I don't know, man. That's actually pretty intense. That. That's pretty yeah, intense, it's, actually. It's gonna be a good game. Yeah, that's gonna be a big fucking game, actually. Uh, and let's see. We have. Uh, well, there's Helm as well. Wait, who did? Uh... Yeah. So that's actually a, a potentially very big game, guys. Like two very very strong teams. There. But both are in quite odd comps, actually. So Flash is playing with. Um, he's also got the the hybrid firebrand guy right on that team as well. So th there's no uh, firebrand Rashtun? scourge. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So there's, there's no there's no uh, scourge yeah, on either of those teams. It's not as good as it used to be, man. Like a lot of players are really just moving away from it. You know, it's because like I think right now, you know, for and for a while, it's just everything is more about rotating and and like just getting kills as quickly as possible. Um, and I think firebrand scourge is just not as good as that. Like they're really, really good at staying on node or like holding nodes and pushing nodes, and uh, you know winning team fights. But you know you just don't need that as much. Yeah. You know you just have so much mobility on Mirage, on Thief, on Rev, uh, and whatnot that you just move around the map super quick. Yeah. Very good. Uh, okay. So what do we have here, guys? On the red team, we have Firebrand, Mirage. Other firebrand, double rev, and it's Condi Rev, dude. Condi Rev, whoa, whoa, okay. Baby. The extra spicy, very Wait, spicy build here. Okay. He's running Shiro. He's yeah. not running Malix. It's interesting. It's Shiro Glint, yeah. Shiro Glint. So it's, it's almost like a hybrid, right? He's got the he's got power on the Sage I... amulet as well. So it's a big DPS yeah, and looks... the more conventional Revenant setup here as well, of course, from uh, you know, from our other rev. My, my guess is that sort of to try and counter the chrono in some sense um just because like you know they, they run sage so like he's a lot more tanky i'll have some more healing power and they also probably just don't really have anything that can 1v1 the uh the the, the chrono as as well um just because it's you know just kind of match like it's bunkerish and, and damage yeah. as well plus maybe they although I don't know, not running Malik seems a little weird to me. If you're trying to go for a Condi build, especially because it has such good boon um, control, uh, you know, with pulsating pestilence or whatever, or not pulsating he, pestilence, he, uh, uh, fucking, whatever it's called. I don't think he often runs Malik actually on the setup. I think it's usually yeah. Shiro. It's like you almost always Shiro, uh, uh, Shiro Glint as the setup is. So here's the initial split. We see both teams kind of circling around mid, but uh, a three node instant push actually from the blue team. Kind of forced the Mirage already with that Thief, like the Thief obviously kind of the natural predator for the Mirage. So looks like they're going to yep. leave uh, leave Boyce on that node just holding that. And then we have uh, Flash and Aldari and actually kind of like 1v2 in the Chrono. Actually, the Chrono doing a good job of trolling it. Can he survive? It's very important that he doesn't die here, right? Of course, it, holding yeah, a 1v2 yeah, yeah. Is, very, is all well and good, but you actually have to well, not die. a lot of damage oh, on the road. No! This the he might actually go down here. Yeah, he might big have, damage. You need to be really careful. He's yeah, getting yeah, saved yeah. by Flash, though, but he isn't sure. So he won't have his Glint heal up for at least another second, but he should oh. be able to swap it in, but no! The damage from high is going to be too much. And it stops. Boys, it well for the stomp. And there it is. One kill already. Flash going low himself, and he's going to be the next oh, victim. Oh, shit. And it's a very good job from the blue team here to get some kills very early on in the mid game. Yeah, and that's a very, very good start. That's, it, it may even end up as a bit of a three-cap situation here as well. Uh, 
Give me that fucking map. Okay, for this team, fucking Nuno needs to zoom out. Okay, there we go. But anyway, you know, let's see. I mean, we have Tramadex and that's doing a 2v2 here. I think, uh, to be honest, this probably favors red team a little bit. They do have the sustain of the Firebrand mm -hmm. to, to kind of heal through that. And of course, you know, the, the Konyarev is very tanky as well. Be able to sustain through this. But can they actually connect the kill, though? It doesn't look like they're actually able to get kills here. And I, we have Fly coming in for the plus two. Oh, very, yeah, the plus one, or, but yeah, the plus two on, on, on Grachia. I, I actually think that 2v2 goes the way of blue team, just because I feel like Grachiton eventually will run out of cooldowns before Trauma and Fiskin will, as long as they can sustain and they don't get, um, too messed up by the conditions on the, the Revenant. But again, like, I feel like this build that the Revenant is running is just, it doesn't do that much damage, with mm. it's, even, you know, with these Condies, like, it's, it's very slow. So again, like, I feel like the longer that the, the 2v2 goes on there, it's, it's gonna be in favor of blue yeah. team, but either way, Trying to kill another player on red team. Trying to just snowball this match even harder than it is already. Revenant going a little bit low. Flash is sustaining him as he well as he can, but he's got to be careful. He doesn't have Glint up for another few seconds. Does have his staff blocks. But blue team are going very hard for this Revenant, knowing he's low on cooldowns, as well as Flash. Grouch on coming off a respawn as well. So it'll be a little bit more sustained for him. But he's struggling. Doesn't have a seal for 10 seconds. He's going low. They're going to stay on top of him. The pressure's good, and he's going to go he's down dead. again. Gravwell's down as well. Rampage. He's got the he's got the tiny stomp. Tiny stomp connecting from the yeah. hollow there. Tiny man, tiny stomp. Oh, he just go down though. Can they get this cleave out here? There's a lot of damage coming out. Oh, blue team, I don't think they can get it. No, oh, they aren't gonna be able it. to get it. Away and Boyce as well, well gets cleaved Ooh, down. Overextended here, and this is where you see red team being able to come back into the map. They need to push under these nodes as quickly as possible, yeah. decap, and get some control. Um, and, then, and immediately you see Grachiton going over to this far node and bunkering it as he saw that fight. Uh, exactly. Is that, that, that is actually, a that longer, is actually but... how it tends to go, actually. You'll, you'll often see him uh, go to either far or close and just stay there the entire game, pretty much, actually. Doesn't really engage in the team fighting that much. He'll typically just try, no. try and take 1v1s, 1v2s, and sustain them and jump around on top of structures and stuff. So that, that's kind of what his, his game plan seems to be here. But I, that's the thing. I, I think Blue Team has done, done a very good job of actually slowing down the game. That They did overextend a little yeah. bit there, did make a bit of a mistake. But actually, Red oh, Team doesn't... Nice leave. He really needs to leave. This, maybe this four yeah, red players here. Uh, maybe a bit ambitious. Red oh, he made it up there, but that might not be enough. He gets pulled Pull off, and then he's dead. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be another kill. And and you know, I mean, he was trying to hold on to the note as you were saying, just slow them down even more. Oh, Grachiton kills. He gets well, taken out. Yeah, Boyce gets him with the birds. Yeah, the birds um, got him. Buffs coming up too, but yeah, I mean, good plus there from that revenant on far to get Grachiton off that node, and then good job snowballing mid. So now, you know, they are in a two-cap situation. They are going to be able to hold these nodes. Boy's pushing far, though, with Grachiton. Mirage, he needs to do something. Respawn. He needs to contest yeah. this, otherwise it's going to be a decap. He's going to go for it. Yeah. Oh, he made it, actually. Get it? Yeah, yeah he, but he's not going to be able to set a node at all. No, he has to leave no, this immediately. No, no, no. He has to wait for not the respawn coming here. out. Fly going to be chasing oh, him down. Comes Grachiton Grachiton is going to Boy's actually just going for the cap, not going to try to chase this kill down. I, I'm not sure that's the right call here. I think they, if they'd stayed on the Mirage, they might have been able to kill him. But I guess they were thinking that with with another respawn coming in, they just wanted mm. to try to get the node capped. But uh, they really do need to be careful. If this can come oh, in, though, Rev. three v uh, two v three, three even. It's three v three now. So much damage to the Mirage. Yeah, but what? we oh, and the Mirage actually gets taken down. He gets taken down. Yeah. That rampage, that rock throw, got him big there. Actually, big damage on the rock throw, and here's fly as well. And this one, well, this is very very bad for the red team here. These two players will not be able to survive versus the extreme damage output here. I mean, Are either of the firebrands running signal to mercy? Uh, uh, Grafton isn't, but I think Flash is. Yeah, is, Flash yeah. is. And and that's why, you know, you really want to see Flash in this fight. You don't want to see Grouchadon here. You know, he'll, uh, I mean, obviously Grouchadon is going to be, you know, as you said, more of a hybrid build anyways. You, you know, he's not going to do as much in the team fight as Flash will. Uh, but that Signal Mercy also just really, really important for the team fight. And Flash has pretty much no value from it alone. So, it's interesting, you know, I, I would expect him to try to rotate with the Revenant a lot more than he is right now. But they're really relying on that Revenant, I think, to try and ro over-rotate just to deal with the Thief a bit more because he's doing such a good job of locking the Mirage down. Um, Fishkin getting pressured pretty far. He is forced to Elixir S there. That's his active, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I believe so because the passive uh, just gives you Barry right now. Feels bad. Yeah, yeah, indeed, you are correct. Yeah. Uh, Boyce is going to be going for... No, yeah, I think it was Boyce. Someone going for that buff. Yeah, I think... And, uh, who who actually it? gets it? I hate this dead game. That is Boyce. Yeah. Very interesting name, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, either way, Grouch is not getting chased oh, off. Oh, no, it in a bit of trouble. Nice to be there. Oh. Really taken out, but that is two players on one. Trauma is able to get the decap on mid while yeah. they're doing that. This, Most likely no rest potential coming out here. But. It, it's... There is some swing starting to go back towards red, but blue is very far ahead still, right? And I mean, the, yeah, you know, they got the, so much off that first lead. And really nice CC here now coming out onto the Elytron. Trauma just doing a good job of applying a lot of pressure. Does have his Glint heal up though, and he is here with Flash as well as Grouchon, so he should be absolutely fine. Actually uses the Glint heal there, I'm not really sure why he did that. 
but maybe he just wanted to be able to go as aggressive as possible. Trauma getting CC. He's dead. Really getting locked down. Fiskin here to try to peel, but it's not going to be enough. And Trauma gets taken out. Blue team holding on to one <laughs> node still. Grouch is on moving into the fair. Oh, boys as well. in an intense 1v1. In bad position. Yeah, he's not in a good spot here. He's going to have to leave here. Not, he cannot sustain the Mirage and uh, the, the Rev at the same time. And that's such a lot oh, of pressure. No on him. I think he may actually be going down. Yeah, he's he just, die, no, yeah, no. he wants to die on the point just to make sure. Oh, wait, they're both leaving. Oh, no, bit, bit of a miscommunication there from uh, from the red yeah. team. I mean, th this this is good, though. Like, getting rid of Boyce is very good, I think, because he is very oh, yeah. annoying, right? He's going to be holding those oh. 1v2s. This should give red team a lot of power on the map right now, at least for this a certain This going to be pretty important, I think, if they go for a mid-fight here. Fly might just go to try and plus far with Boyce off respawn, but if they go for a mid-fight here, it's going to be pretty impactful, I think, for the rest of the game. Both side nodes going to be picked up by the opposing teams. Mid's going to be the next point of contention here. Um, and also, who can pick up a kill, I think, is going to be really important coming into this mid-fight. This guy needs to be careful. He doesn't get picked off as red team pushes into far. Boy, mm. seeing that rotation is going to go meet Rajan on, but this guy now going to be an outnumbered fight. No, actually, Trauma is coming in, so he, they will be there. Oh, and a big rock onto Eldron! Gotta be careful. Not enough, though. I think with, with the Guardian, they should be okay. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, this 2v2, it, 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 well, I mean, it, well, of course, the, the Firebrand there is going to kind of lock it down, the mid node, certainly for the, for the red team for a while, but... We see blue team flexing their mobility muscles going on yeah. Tenebrae. Oh, we have the Thief and the Hollow on him. It's not going to be a... Well, maybe he can kind of get away with it. I mean, he has a, a good chunk of sustain with the... Yeah, Fly just forces the decap and then leaves back to mid. Good call here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, the, the, the gap is closing a little bit, but I mean, I think yeah, re I, red team is running out of time to a certain extent, right? They really are. They need they need to really kind of get two nodes mm. ASAP and then not lose Ooh. them. Ooh, red team actually two winning hits. this 2v2. Uh, yeah. Rashad and the Mirage pressuring uh, Gornet very, very hard at the moment. Boy's trying to sustain him as well as he can. He gets he his heal, though. He has his heal. He has his heal. He's got the shield block as well. So he's okay for a while, at least, and has distortion up as well. Initial, but he is taking some really heavy pressure. Can he survive this? He's, he's, the core guard is going. I mean, the, the fire is on really hard. The focus detonates and kills him. Can boys get the res? I don't think no. he oh. can. Oh, it's close, actually. No, no, I don't you know, think he can. No, he's no. going to leave this, and he's probably, probably going to go oh, mid unless he Oh, dear. Scrolls. And uh, over on mid, here. what's going on here? Well, I mean, it's kind of a stalemate right now. Oh, this can he comes in. Can he, can he counter this? Can he actually swing this in the first team? I think he might be able to. Flash is very, very low here. This can wants it. He's going to get it, I think. Yes, he does. Oh, oh. this can needs to be careful, though. Big damage. Oh. And fire, fire, he's down. Oh. Is it the stop? Oh, no. The flash. Oh, big nice. rally there. Okay, that's a big rally there for blue team. That's huge. They do, they're very low, mm. though. They need to be careful. They don't really have sustain in this fight. Fly needs to be careful. Mm. He doesn't get picked off by one of these revenants. And But it looks like the peel there is good from Thiskin as well as Trauma. Trauma just chasing Eldron down off node. Nice job there. But Ooh, side nodes go to red team. Trouble. And blue team really need to get some points back. They're getting kills in the map at the moment, yeah. but they're not getting the nodes. Red got, I mean, they did, the Eldarin did get taken out though, which is not ideal. Was able to get sniped off by the warrior and the Holosmith. But it, it, it's, it's, oh, it's a 2v3 in mid and Flash is back here as well, so he will be able to resustain this fight. And it will probably, you know, be a, a pretty happy situation I think, I think uh, for the red team. Right now. I, I really think blue team just need to leave mid. Boys get a nice think, uh, I don't think they want to fight with the firebrand, to Ooh, be honest. It just takes too long. Well, I think that is what they have kind of done. They they said uh, the Tramonex yeah. and Boys have gone to the sides. They have reset those. And again, blue team finding themselves in a pretty solid situation. Looks like red will be able to get mid. Just getting one v three actually. Very yeah, 1v4 low. Oh, one v four even. One v four. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, Gordon is here as well as Boys to try to peel Ooh. off for him, but they really don't want to stay here for too long unless they can find a, a quick kill. Flash yeah. will have his signal of mercy back up though if that happens. But I He's think at the moment they're away. okay. Yeah, Boys needs to watch home though. Crash is there. Oh. Is Boys gonna be able to stop the decap? I oh, should be able. Yeah, I should be there. So much should mobility on Soul Yeah, I should be fine. Unless and this, this will probably Ooh, be able to I, I think blue yeah. team though. I mean, they're still about a hundred points ahead. Like they, I, if, as, if, yeah. as long as they can hold on to at least one node, they're in a pretty solid situation. And keep one neutral, yeah. Yeah, like they, they keep it neutral for a little they're bit. Pretty okay, although they do. For Boyce does get forced away there. Will he actually get taken oh, out? He will. Oh yeah, wow. dude, that Konyrev man, Konyrev is getting some work done over here. Tramonex in the one v one versus the Mirage. How will that yeah, go? It seems to be going While, while the right number now. happens at, at uh, Blue Team's home node, it does mean that it opens up mid for Blue Team, but they get a kill as well yeah, on, on Eldron, and that, that, nice. I think that might be game right here. They have the double cap pretty much with mid as well as Trauma's Yeah, yeah they far. get it as well. There's double cap on mid. Blue, so Red Team is very much on a timer right now. They need to do something right now. Uh, and they've got five blue members alive, so... 
not ideal for red. Like, can they even really shift this map? I mean, they, they have to do something in the next 30 seconds. Otherwise, they are pretty much done for. There will be no recovery from them after that. And, well, to be honest, I, I think I think blue team have kind of seen the writing on the wall. We have Charmix playing very safe, just kind of camping uh, camping the yeah. dragon at this point. They know that you know, as long as they can just kind of troll the mid fight. I don't, they're probably not even looking to exactly win here, just like stall, right? No, no, it's no, a 4v3, no. yeah, like so they know it's gonna, it, it's eventually going to gonna go bad for them, right? But as long as they can delay yeah. this cap, they, they will win the game. So... And you can kind of see, boys, he's not even really engaging. Like he's just he's just raided just to, to kind of get in and make sure they can't actually capture the node. There he is. Oh, Fishy, he yeah, he's taking it out very quickly. Fly is well low here um, off the off the mid node. Nah, it's Fishy too late. Be killed, but yeah, only 50 points left for blue team. Red team have to snowball their home node right now. Mm. They need you. Groucho's on already moving into this. I expect them to send at least one Revenant home as well. If they don't, they really need to because Fly as well as Trauma. Ooh, Fly? Hold on this for a while, Ooh, but... Fly thinking about disengaging there. Um, we now have it. It's we have. Ooh, Chamonix is getting a bit low here. He's running out of steam. Does he have anything to do with these cards? He does have the signet of stamina, so he can get rid of a full cleanse. Nearly has a shield block as well. Doesn't get the shield oh, block in time. Matter. Oh, hang on a minute. The they get the they kill. This kid goes home to try to decap. He's but trying. Revan is there. Chenabe to to hold that note. He holds it. Now. Flies moving in. This might be the double cap. It, uh, the triple cap even. Oh, I mean, if red team can hold this, flash moving in as well, actually, to kind of to to, bl to lock this node down. Two minutes on the clock, guys. Okay, oh, I, and it's I, a good thing he moves in too. Five. The evidence are going very low here, but he gets the heals off. This kid going low, forced into the elixir. Oh no! They get a kill but on right here. It's red be team, very bad. blue team, they know, they know, they're gonna get the decap on dragon. This is a very big deal, actually. This is a very very big deal. Trammer going for the decap. Oh, he, he's going for rampaging for it. He wants it. He's gonna get it. Wait. No! Gronkatoni's hard carrying! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no, they're gonna stop it! And another kill picked up on Fiskin yeah. at home! This is not good! Boys pushing in! They need this decap! Yeah. They need this cap right they're now! They're not gonna oh, get it! The team have almost made up the points! They're only 20 points behind! This is this bad! Oh! Rajadon gonna get killed it's... most likely very quickly! Oh, okay. he has renewed the cap! He has renewed cap! But they need the cap still! He's... And Red oh. Team holding on to mid! Red Team, it's just an intense 1v1! Oh, oh, look how close it is to capping! Red, Red Team caps it! Oh, oh no! Through. Double cap for Red Team. Oh Blue no! Team still don't have a node. Gonna be a two to one node. Kills are relevant now. Actually, kills are pretty important. Absolutely. But I think Blue Team is not going to be able to, to actually connect this. I think Red Team's actually going to somehow manage to come back. Krakenon just go they down. Get down. He's if dead. If can dig up home, but Flash moving into home. They oh. need to send somebody home right now. He's not going to get a node. I don't think no, with Flash. No what about mid? No oh, Tenebrae's one v two. He's one v two right now. If if they if he dies, oh, this is yeah, so fucking close. Is so low, Does he have his heal? Does he have his heal? As well? He's at. Oh! I, I don't think so. No! no. He, he went on point. He's off dying off node. It's That's so close. Wait, they, they're gonna, gonna win. The Blue's gonna win. Blue's gonna win. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh no! Wow! It came. Oh no! No kill! Red team wins. Red team takes it the last. Oh my god! Holy crap! Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable! <laughs> holy shit! Yeah, that was one of the best PVP oh, games. Oh no! <laughs> holy shit! What the? How fuck? did that even happen? <laughs> oh my god, boys! Oh yo, Mr. no! Alive, it's confirmed. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> and the BM in map chat too. Very Woo! nice BM. Very nice BM here from both teams here. Fucking shit. Go back to wall versus wall. <laughs> a bit rusty okay. on Firebrand. XD. Yeah, ooh, XD. Very nice Yikes. XD there. Ooh. Unbelievable. Intense game, guys. That was a bit of a close one. Uh oh, man. <laughs> wow, Red Team. I mean, oh, wow. That was good. That was good. It came stuff, down guys. to two kills at the end there. Yeah. Oh. There you go. The kill countertron. Well, now, good yeah. Holy shit. Wow, what a game, guys. What what a game. Wow. So let's see, what else have we got? We have uh, we actually have another game going on right oh, yeah? now. So let's see. Let's go ahead and check out this game. Let's see what the situation is. I, I, I have no idea if Frosty's playing, but I'm just... I'm just I yeah. a bit. Let's find out. Is he playing? Um, yeah, oh! What is this? What's going on here? Roy? Wait. We ha yeah, wait. yeah. Here we wait, have... Is, is he playing with Draza? Frostball, Andraza, okay, no. Zartak, and Kazus. Kazus? Okay. Is this just every Mesmer in the game? Uh, we you? have triple Mesmer. Uh, yeah, uh, Scourge, uh, Scourge, and Scourge is very good in PvP, um, and uh, Reaper is actually Wait, solid. You, 
You legit hard called that. Holy shit! Like, yeah. like you just saw him running an aerodrome with a staff, and you're yeah. like, he's PVP. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. All right. I mean, if anyone needs proof okay. that T Bot <laughs> has the biggest IQ of all Guilders to streamers, there it is, right there. So, Anybody who's <laughs> not subbed, you're an idiot. By the okay, way, I'm saying it right now. Thanks for the sub, uh, Ed Rando. I appreciate that, dude. But yeah, we have uh, an interesting comb here. We have Double Morocco. Oh, this could be cancer. Okay, yeah, this is actually awful. <laughs> I don't know if I want to watch this game, to be honest. Double Mirage Chrono. <laughs> oh, no. With the uh, the Hollowsmith and the Core Guard bringing up the, uh, bringing up the flanks. And on the blue team, we actually... Oh, interesting. We have Vin Aeon. Okay. Oh, okay. A Mirage. I don't know how to pronounce it. Fucking Jame. Okay. Jame. Yeah, what the fuck? Sure. What the Is fuck? Flandria in this team? Yeah. Okay. We have uh, Fallon, Faileth, and Cream Cheese. Not so, uh, you know, uh, but two, two interesting comments. We're not seeing, uh, we haven't seen any Firebrand Scourge so far in this, uh, in this MAT actually. It's all about the, the the more mobile, almost like roaming comps. To be honest, like we have a lot of mobility on the Mirage, the Hollow, the Dead Eye, and the Rev. Of course, here as well. Actually, both the teams kind of converging, going up the middle path. Um, wait, hang on, I need to reset this. The reset the kill countertron. Oh no! The kill countertron. Yeah, no. it's been reset. Oh, we already have some action already. Part. Who is red team going to go on? They're going to pick a target. And they're going to try and kill it. Who is it going to be? Zartak already getting a little bit low actually for red. Rev going yeah, hard, and they need to relieve the well, pressure. Fail of actually getting focused very, very heavily, and that makes sense. Yeah, for dead eye. Yeah. Well. They, they definitely want to take that dead eye out if they can. But they June, if Zar Zartak, as you said, very low, doesn't have his elixir. Ooh, well, gets sustained, as well as the AED. Yeah. yeah. And has sustained for the firebrand. Uh, not firebrand. No, there's no firebrand on this team. It's no, he, he, yeah, he's just got his big mobility. He's, he's gonna, he goes in, oh, but actually, that's big balls. In. Well, I mean, fair play to him. Again, that, uh, he's he's gonna, gonna look oh, Vinny on the. They don't take it out. Go down, but they should be able to get the cleave here. I Ooh, think. Are they res? The dad eye as well. The dad eye coming back in. Ooh. Rimshi's going very low on that, Ooh. but the cleave is there. They've Aeon got Rimshi. Needs to be so careful. Aeon's back up. Doesn't have a seal. He may Everyone end up. Everyone on this blue team is so low. How I'm chasing down the mirage. He might be able Red, to kill. Red, super low though as well. Yeah. Helm. Oh, how much he gets the kill, but I don't think. He, but he, he has no way he storms it. And it. Oh, no, uh, signet. No uh, I, I think that maybe no, you're not the best signet usage there. But I mean, still, I mean, you're better safe than sorry. I suppose Helm is taken out as well. Draws are dangerously low too. Can he throw the mirage? Yeah, he's got Ooh. stunned and he's going to be taken out. Wow. This oh. might. There might be no nodes in this game. But <laughs> uh, Kaz is able to take down the hollow here. Able to take down that hollow, which is a good start for the red team. And actually, red team, although they, they seem to be... They lost the fights horribly, right? But they were able to get all the nodes anyway. So, I mean, I guess they're not that upset yeah. about it. Uh, and, yeah. Well, bear in mind, guys, is, this is a game about capturing points at the end of the day, right? It's not a death match. Um, so it is very important. I mean, Frosty is actually one is, is actually 1v3ing here. He's legit 1v3ing mid. Um, so, I just got news that Frosty's actually been kicked from CLL for PvPing. Uh, any thoughts? Uh, well, I mean, I don't think... I, well, I mean, he's actually in the new guild anyway, so I mean, that's, uh, I mean that could be true. Oh, he's, that, yeah, that, that guild. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I meant. He's been kicked from that guild, alright? That's... Uh, I, yeah, okay. Anyways... Oh, uh, no, Aeon gets <laughs> bursted by the core guard, and Frosty, he's going... Oh, no. Yeah, he, actually, never mind. Easy resustain there from the Guardian, but sides have gone to red. They're actually gaining a sizable point lead. Aeon is a bit low. Here comes Drazi. He wants that Guardian kill. He wants to kill that Firebrand. He's going to go for it. Scepter 3 is charging up. Massive damage coming out there. Oh, and the CC as well. He should be able to be taken With the out. Gravel. And the Gravel, just to confirm yeah, it, that's just overkill. Yeah, wow. ouch. I don't, I don't even, they didn't really need to do that to him. That man had a family, but unfortunately, yeah. they're all dead now. Oof. As well as him. Frostball pushing on to far to try and He's sustain going in. this node 1v2. He will be against a Deadeye as well as a Hollow. Ooh. So he needs to be careful here. Yeah. Doing a good job, actually, of applying a little bit of pressure. Helm taken out on the other side of the map. Yeah. Gets res, though, actually, I think. Yeah, he does get res. Yeah. Yeah. Big Big res. Up, no Frosty's winning the 1v2. Uh, Frosty actually was winning that 1v2. Uh, that's uh, well, uh, is anyone not good surprised, for blue. Really? He has his armor on. It's like the opposite of Dragon Ball Z characters. They take their armor off to get stronger. Frosty puts his on. Yeah, to it's be, true. You know? It's true. Oh, and Kaz and Helm able to take down Cream Cheese. Vineon doesn't have the signal. I don't think can she get the res. Oh no, does have the signal actually. Will oh. it connect? Oh, it doesn't no, connect. No, it's not going to connect. Oh, Unlucky no. to be sure. And that's going to be a wasted signal as well as a dead revenant on the ground. Yeah. Red team pushing into this 2v3, now 2v2. With Aeon very, very low. Does have RF up, but still. Mm, big pressure coming out. Yeah. Good kiting though. Is able to kite away. Able to sustain it, but does have to, you know, not capturing the node right now. In moves Zartak, though he's moving back into the mix. And I think that Firebread is going to be the target. Yep, that it absolutely is. Big C season damage coming out right now. Not able to get the kill so far. Of course, the uh, Renewed Focus is available. Can reset those tomes. 
uh, if necessary. Yeah. Gotta be careful the confusion, though, is still applied. Oh, and Zartrek actually taken out by the Ooh, Revenant. Oh, yeah. The side of the Cream team. cheese getting work done. Big damage. Yeah, nice job. Failure coming in as well. Blue team have to leave this instant. Helm is dead. There's no way he gets out of this. But there is a possibility Yeesh. for uh, Draza Maybe to get out. Maybe a counter kill. Yeah. Frosty moves in. Frosty moves in. Um, no, 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 he Frosty really, just yeah. doesn't care. He no, he actually, he's not even leaving. He actually thinks he can actually sustain I mean, this. I mean, think about it. Think how there's two Mesmers here, right? They have so many clones. It'll be an army yeah. of clones. This isn't fair for Blue Team. It's going to oh. be like 20 versus 3. The Rev is on them. Rev is on Frosty. He is able to jump around and get the disengage. He's able to kite around. Dodges the Rev Elite there One as well. One jumpy boy. Yeah, he is jumping all over the place. And actually wants to go on Aeon with Draza. Here we go. Oh, massive burst. Actually, a huge wombo combo from both those players. And actually, they're actually like winning 2v4 right now. What is going on, guys? They are literally winning a 2v4. Oh Cream God. cheese is so cool. He might yeah. go down. There's the rotation from Zartek yeah. coming in as well. Oh. And Aeon is still not raised. Oh, the damage no. from these two Mesmers is just too much for three players to rest through. <laughs> They can't do it! There's too many clones! Arena now, please! They lost that on oh, cream cheese take it as well. Red team is gonna get a hard, a hard triple cap here. Blue team, what do they even do here? Mirage coming back over reason. Wait, this Mirage is playing like the old builds. Wait, what oh with sword actually? Interesting, like it's a uh, some of the unconventional Wizard. setup, actually. Yeah, we say I, I I've seen this build play before, but usually it's played with um a uh, scepter. Like you play scepter uh you play like Scepter, Scepter Pistol, Axe Torch is how I've usually seen this played, so a bit of a variant on the... Oh no, wait, what you do? We do have the Scepter, just no Axe. Okay, alright. That's a bit odd. Uh, but, well, there you go. It is exactly what it is, I suppose. Tipa, I, I'm a little confused here because I've been watching a lot of PvP streams recently, and I don't PvP myself, but I've been watching a lot of people like twitch.tv slash Jodgers, twitch.tv okay. slash Boy Serino. Yep. Uh, and, and here, this right now, this is the first beast I've seen all game. Whoa. Those players, oh, they go for the beast immediately out of the out of the match. What's going on with these players? Have they never PvP'd before? Why are they not going for the beast, the most important part of the map? Well, I, I th to be honest, I think that beast was very risky, actually. I, I, to be fair, actually, uh, he was very low. Uh, and actually did end up you know, nearly getting picked off while taking the beast. But does actually connect. It was able to be secured. And the Mirage the gets taken out by Drowser as well. I mean, yeah, they are doing a, they are doing a very good job. Like, the red team is absolutely stomping it. Like, could, do you think this is a team in contention? How will this uh, fare against Flash's team, do you think? Uh, well, when they, if they go up against that. All, all the players on red team are very good, right? Like, I mean, you saw Frostball and Drowser literally 2v4. Frosty was 1v2ing. I mean, aside from the fact that there are three Mesmers on their team, which is obviously AIDS, right? Aside from the fact that Mesmer's busted, they're very good players, right? Um, and, I, I mean, I, I, I honestly think that if the, like, Flash's team doesn't play well around this mm. comp, and, like, and, like if, the, <coughs> excuse me, if they allow themselves to just get picked off and killed, like Blue Team has been doing, I'm, Red Team is just going to stop them. Like, yeah, no. Their comp doesn't have to be good for them to win. They just have to be good at their playing I, their class. I, I, and I think that's what Fiskin's like, team was kind of trying for. Mm. They just... Uh, they. Flash's team played against them a little bit better. Like, they out-rotated them a little bit there, I think, at the very I, end. I, I, I think what's going on here as well is that this is actually something that this team actually does quite often. Uh, they have Vin Aeon actually kind of uh, sustain, like, play plus into yeah. Vin Aeon, if that makes any sense, right? So, mm -hmm. like, Vin Aeon will be bunkering a node, and they'll plus into it, but I just don't think that will work against this. Like, she cannot no. survive long enough against these Mesmers. It's, way, just, uh, it's too much. I want to check another game. Someone tell me Flash is losing. Yeah, oh, shit! Well, hang on, boys, it's kind of... Yeah, because then this game is over. This Yeah, this game yeah. is fucking over. Uh, right, let's go check this shit out. All right, moving on. Oh, and they absolutely are... Oh, this is a big team, actually. This is... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, th this is uh, fucking uh, uh, Ryuk Chris. This guy who, like, wins all the 2v2 tournaments, right? The, you know the ROM ones? He, he, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah, dominates actually, the 2v2 shit. I don't know much of these players. Yeah, I, I, I know them. I've seen the Mesmer. I've seen... Uh, no, 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 that's the, the, the Scourge. I know the Scourge. But yeah. I don't... Uh, I know Humongous Toolkit as well. That's a great name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know the... Uh, who, yeah, these are some... Perhaps new new blood on the scene. But right now, yeah, uh, Flash's great. team is is not uh, not doing so hot right now. Actually, no. um, they are in no. a bit of trouble right now. Blue team actually going to be looks like they are in pretty good control of this node as well. Going to be going and winning the henge in addition to this. Well, hang on, I'll just reset the kill and, countertron. And this is nice to see a uh, firebrand scourge. I mean, I was saying before, I don't think people played as much, uh, but I, I, I still like to see it. You know, it's good to see it. It's uh, nice to see so many different ooh. comps actually, and I don't necessarily Clutch know if that's just because res. everything is good. Nah, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, he's not gonna get no it? signet. Yeah, no, doesn't he have signet? He doesn't have signet. So Aldaran getting dunked as well. Oh, that's where that firebrand scourge really comes into play, oh, right? Really good signet from Flash though. He's yeah. gonna be able to get back up if they can get a kill here. But I don't think they're really gonna Ooh, be able to. He gets, oh, doesn't get his heal. 
Doesn't get his heal. No, the damage from yeah. the Necro. Oh, uh, sorry, the Revenant is just there. I, and I, as we were saying at the start of the stream, right? Like this is where Firebrand the Scourge really comes into its own, though, right? With this team fight, right? With yeah. it, I just think, and actually, you'll notice that he's actually gone for. This is not um saying that a lot. Well, not every Scourge plays this, she, um, but he's gone for Lingering Curse. This really gives him like that mega team fight punch. That means yeah. if he's fighting two players or three he's also players, running, running he'll be small shades. Is that? Is yeah, that that's what the other. Playing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. I, haven't, yeah. I haven't seen Scourge in a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You play, you play the small shit because it just gives you insane DPS mm -hmm. output, right? Like okay. the, demonic law is a very powerful trait. You get insane burning and torment off it. Um, yeah. And yeah, like it, with this devouring darkness, he's going to be applying mass AOE burning with the sword bias. Because bear in mind, guys, whenever he applies torment. Uh, every three seconds on every target, right? He'll also apply a burn stack as well. So that's going to AOE burn and AOE boon in a team fight. He is a team fight machine yeah. on this Necro, yeah. guys. He absolutely now, is. We do need to remember we did count red team out last game Ooh, and they yeah. did come back Ooh. in the very last second. So we can't do that here. And they're also not that far behind. They oh, yeah. still have the only node of the map, although Blue Team are about to get mid. And it looks like Blue Team also probably winning far. But we do see the rotation coming out of Garachitan. Yeah. 50 um, points two, is not the yeah. end of the world. Like, 50 points is really yeah. not the end of the world. Uh, by well, no, no rest of the imagination. It's yeah, two, yeah. Will it Someone come down them, to the beast? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, guys, take the beast, okay? Just fucking do it. Oh, it's going to be, it looks like a big team fight. Come on, made a big 4v4 action here by looks as Maybe even 5v5, actually, because when um the Thief and Kidder come back in here, already Eldarion is oh, so hard focused. so low. These conditions, the target from the Scourge he has is his heal? out of this world. He's got his heal he skill. He does have some sustain as well as his heal, as you mentioned. He's going to be a force to pop up, but they need to get a kill, and they're not finding a target at the moment. Rhea, oh, Chris, going the a Scourge lawyer, will but... win this for them, I think. But he's, oh, uh, he's on target pressure. Next, is he? Hard. He's, he's down. down. Can Chris get him? He yeah, he's going it. for the signet. He's gonna get it. He gets he it. He does get it. But there, there's so much damage. There's a lot of CC. Chris is going low force. Forced to the RF. Yeah. Flash low as well. Is RFing himself. Good kiting. Flash low. Everybody uh, on red team low. The damage is now. It's already gonna be dropped. Blue team yeah. taking his team fight back. I, it, that's where it is though, right? Like it, it's it's tick tick tick, right? Like as time goes on, that rest. scourge just pays off. But actually, the rev yeah, of yeah, oh, he yeah. just gets it. I think he just gets resustained. Actually, just gets resustained there. But I think he's gonna go down oh, again massively. Down oh, down Chris, take him and the scourge man. too. And me, please go down as a portal. Oh portal's no! Down. Well, I, 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 you know, I'd be inclined to say that actually having Graukaton there was huge, right? Having the double firebrand in the team fight, right, was able to shut down the scourge, having all that resistance, all the cleanse Absolutely. was was kind of it kind of shut down the pressure, right? And they're going for the beast. There it oh, is. Oh shit! The oh the beast, the rev. It's he can get it for free. Beast. Yeah, it's free. Wait, it's completely wait, actually, free. Wait, yeah, no, no Zen actually, maybe he's gonna. Oh, no, no, Zen nah, doesn't he know. Can't get he it. doesn't know. No, he didn't know. Put your lols in chat, boys. He doesn't know. Oh, shit. Red team, they're doing it again, actually. Is this a strat, right? Are they throw the game really early? Oh, and they get far as well. Very nice rotation by Tenebrae. Red team in a really good spot right now, I think. they should. I think they are going to be able to get that far node. But also, I think they might win the fight on Henge as well. Um, where is the Scourge? Here comes the Scourge. He's pushing in. He has Breach available. He should be able to get some big team fight out. As well. Oh, he get oh, yours. Zen very low. Zen. I don't know. If this thing's gonna be back up. Yeah, he's getting healed. Though. Nice to stand as well as his heal. And now they turn the damage on to Flash. Flash. Flash as well going low. They have to be careful. They cannot lose their firebrand in this fight. Either of them, and both of them might be going down here. The RF comes out for Flash. Roger Dunn's still low, though. A lot of pressure on his end. They're trying to focus him down. Big corrupt, well, though. But Scratch is gonna be dropped. Oh, and Blue shit. Team may be able to take the game back right here with this team fight. Crash yeah, both firebrands dead. Adarian gonna be down as well. He needs to leave this. I don't think he can get up. Oh, shit. Blue team, Blue team, Blue team doing That's very well here. Blue, Blue team doing work. Mid Eldarion like taken down as well. Eldarion dead too. But wait, can Red Cat mid? Do they get it? No, they're not going to get it, I don't think. No, there's no, no way. He is going to be 2v1, but no, he's 2v2 as, D as Chris comes in. Roy, and it will be able to sustain this. this is a beast game. Mark my yeah. words. This Svanir is relevant, guys. They know it. I think Rakuto knows it. Wait, no, does he? Okay, <laughs> wait. I don't oh. know. Yes, he does. He knows. Wait, does he? He knows, boys. Boy. Yeah, yeah he, he knows. He knows. Yes, he's okay, going he for it. He definitely knows. Yep. Oh, the thief though! That's a dead eye as well, he can snipe! Oh no! Oh, Grouchy yeah. doesn't know! He, oh he no! Know. It's gonna be a big snipe! He He's goes for it! And it's they get a blue team! Oh no! It. Oh, it's all <laughs> over, boys! Just like that one thiefy boy gets the steal! Wait, and the no! Decap! Roy, decap! Oh wait, no! But okay, mid gets picked okay, up, it doesn't okay, matter. No, oh, that would've been <laughs> so spicy, man. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and just like that, red team are knocked out yeah. of the tournament, boys. Wow, oh, what games, man? No, this is Ooh, a good month the 18. Monthly 18, boys. Okay. I'm back in it, boys. I just guess, right. dude, Destfire hard carrying with the beast steel. Okay, oh, the yeah. beast steel.
There you go. <laughs> what a game, guys. What a game. Uh, dude. Yeah, high-level beast plays, dude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, you what? know why? Because Wait, like, who is in it? unranked, in ranked, right? Where like yeah. it doesn't really matter. Where no one's coordinated and shit. People don't steal yeah. beasts. And also, yeah. beasts like pe people like are like they go, they go for the beast kill immediately, and the twenty five points yeah. are irrelevant to the match. But in games where it's actually close, where people actually keep an eye on each other, they always go for the beast steal, and there's actually a fight around. It. Ooh, like, ooh, interesting team here. Actually, this is an interesting team. Oh, pain. Yeah, okay. we actually have a uh, Uto XD. Oh, do you, do know, you know who that is? No, yes, who's this? That's Zealot. Oh I, my god. I don't know. I, well, I you'll, you'll like, have to jog my memory. He used to be a giant world versus world troll. Oh, okay. And oh, wait, got, oh, wait, a troll. Ash oh. Trial. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, ver but notice we have some very strong players here, guys, on this. Uh, of course, like, red team is very scary. But on the blue team, guys, we have Belzadar. Very nice revenant. We have Ferios. Yes. Big Mirage here as well, guys. Sigadil. Oh, Warrior. Sigadil. God. Okay. And Pain. Pain. Thief Man. Okay. Very nice team here from blue. Can they counter... The mass mesma strategy of red. I don't know. I mean, it's like you said, these are very good players, but yeah, it's gonna be hard. I, I think with it, I really think they need to go for two nodes here because not not necessarily because like their team fight is necessarily better. I mean, I think it should be with the firebrand, but because again, like red team is going to be going very hard for kills with the like they're just, frostball mm, yeah. again. He was playing yeah, yeah, yeah. so aggressive last game, and they're gonna just try and snowball kills. I think. Uh, and I think if blue team can focus on two nodes here and not let themselves get snowballed as much and just play around their fire battle oh. a lot, they will be able to hold these fights. Red team though oh, coming no, into this match. Red market, team. With, they, they, uh, with two nodes. Helm but, yeah, taken out though, so he's not going to be able to revive there. But two nodes already right off the bat for red. Zero points so far uh, for blue. But blue, they are all converging. They won that waterfall. They they should be able to get it pretty easily here. Although I I, I just don't think this kind of gameplay will work. Because look what what do we see here? We see Kazas and Draza yeah. hard trolling. They're in the kite spot, right? You're, what can they do? You no, know, you're right. You're right. What I can may, they do? I may be wrong about what I said. Absolutely. They need the nodes before they can uh, they can really bunker yeah. down on. Fortunately, yeah, yeah. they only have one. Fly and going for the decap at far, though, and he is going to be able to get that for free. He may full cap. I think, yeah, he's going to full cap. Yeah, yeah, so it will be to. side notes for blue. And at the moment, it, that's going to be fine, although obviously Fly is now going to be forced to 1v1 health. Oh, Zartak getting dangerously low. He gets his AD. AD though. Gets it. Very nice AD. Well played there, but he's still low, and again, they just don't have the sustain on this on this red team. Mm. And that's what I say. Like, if they can, if blue team can win these team fights very hard and just pick up kills. Mm. There isn't sustain. There isn't as much comeback potential in these team fights for red team as there is for blue mm. team, just because of the fire run. I think. I think what. Um... I, I do think what what's happening here for for red is though they are able to hold them that they the, the blue team is not able to rotate fast enough so far. Oh, Kaz yeah. is though I, as I as I say that um he doesn't doesn't hold him that well because he's dead. Uh, no, so but no. it is still two points for red. So as yeah. long as they can hang on and wait, actually Kaz is, is he going for the self reds? He actually was. He was going for the self res there temporarily. Dallas is here, but unfortunately for him, oh, there's a second on. player Draza wait, as well. Draza? He's forced to choose between the kill and the node. Oh no! Oh wait. He actually might oh, get nice this res. Is he going to get it? I think he will. I don't know if Thomas can cleave. He doesn't have the cleave. He's not going to be able to get it in the res. Oh, <laughs> no. That's bad. That's very, That's very bad, bad, actually. Fly needs the plus. Yeah. This. Both players are low. Fly really needs to get in there, but mm. instead he's staying in the mid fight for too long, I think. They're outnumbering very hard. Yeah, they are able to win the fight, of course, uh, with that, you know, with that, they do have a better team fight, right? With that fire and with yeah. the rev, stuff like that. Uh, but again, this is what we see. We see Frosty doing what he does. Hard trolling, right? He's just like trolling a bit. Actually, yeah. Pain is on the... Pa Ooh, Pain goes oh, big yeah, on not, him. Not, not fly, sorry, Pain. Yeah. yeah, he's able to wriggle away, but actually that rev is on him. Can Frosty survive? He is able to get away. Kites away from the rev. Oh, but he gets hard spiked. Can he survive this? He has a dodge. He's got blink as well. He's able to get away. Can he somehow survive this? Nope, he cannot. Draza, there's no way he can res in a 1v4 situation. Uh, but in red team, yeah, they, they were able they were able to troll long enough that they are able to uh, kill this warrior here and get the cap there. But blue team are definitely doing something here right now. They oh actually hang on, there's no way they get this res, right? There's no way. No. I think this is a big mistake from, from blue that they're No. Oh no, this is bad. They're gonna get the res on Frosty. This is a big mistake. Oh, big mistake from Blue. Not like, yeah. not going for the kill, not making sure that he actually dies, allowing him to get back up again. That kind of stores their momentum quite badly. And actually, I think uh, Yuto Repent is in a lot of trouble right now here as well. Burning through those cooldowns. I think he's going to get hard bursted. Frosty wants him. He's going big. Here comes yeah. Zartak and he gets him too. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the firebrand taking out the entire point. Again, like this mid, their team fight is just yeah. focused around this firebrand living mm. and sustaining them up. 
Can they get the and res again, now? They, 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 ha they have to win these. They have to win these mid fight. Uh, these these team fights hard. And unfortunately, going for that res made Belzar very vulnerable, and he's gonna go down now. And again, red team are just gonna look to snowball kills yep, yep. like this across the map. They can move around so much faster than blue team, and yep. they have a lot more potential to win these one v ones and two v twos than than blue team. They are team. holding W is what they're doing, Roy. They are yes. going. It's gotta go fast. You know, it is Sanic guys. They are Dude, Sanic you know, right Frostball, now. Okay. Frostball was making uh, jumping puzzle guides uh, before he was came back to PvP. I that, think he was practicing why. for this. Yeah, he yeah. was. He's just practicing being able to move around even faster. And he may not have mounts in, in PvP, but he's still he's a speedy boy, and he's already across the map. Helm, Helm taken gets out here taken on out, waterfall. Yeah. He is dead. He's for for blue team, but again, they have to try very hard to come back into this map. It's going to be very uh, slow for them. And who do we see? We see Le French troll Kazas and Frosty two v four. Okay, this is guys. This is not what um, good rotation looks like, unfortunately. They, this is bad, okay, for blue team. Very bad. It Honestly, is, it's, there's yeah. literally three mesmers on this node. Oh my this god. This is awful. Actually, this four horrible. because of the blue mesmer. I don't yeah. think anyone wants to be here right now, to be honest oh, with you. Oh no. But they don't have a choice. Mesmer Wars the, 2, boys. Yeah, oh dear. And they, we just see Draz and Kaza 2v4. They're just holding this 2v4. Red Why team not? wants to kill them. Uh, Frosty is there, kind of off on the periphery. Actually, he's in trouble. I'm not, I'm not sure he should come back here, actually. Ooh. Frosty was going for the Lord, man. He didn't care about yeah. the fight. He just wanted Wait, to kill things. Was he, he got uh, kicked out. Ooh, he, I think he might just be able to get away with this. Yeah, he is, actually. He's going to be able to escape as well. Yeah. Oh, Belzar wants him, though. Belzar sees him. No, good blink. And he's almost... Oh, it doesn't oh, reach him. The doesn't get doesn't it. Go yeah. Up. Unlucky. AED's AED up. AED proc to. Okay. Oh, blue team are so low. Yeah. Tell it as well as the Mesmer going so very low in this fight. Elixir S going to be proc here for his Zartek. And now Ze Zealot's going to be taken out most likely as well as the Mirage. Ooh, Some peels coming up from Domus. Maybe. He is very low. He's going to try and get away. He, yeah, yeah, he, he does it. Yeah, 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 he yeah, made it. He made it. So, no know. kills picked up, but I mean, and this is this is a match that might not even honestly it might go to timer just to be honest with you, just because of how slow blue team comes into this. Like yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. don't get points quickly, and red team are going to be able to hold. Like they're not really going to be able to hold three nodes for most of this game, like we saw them on the last map. Mm. They're only really going to be able to hold two nodes. Like they may get three nodes for a little bit, but they won't be able to hold it forever because of the firebrand on blue team. But they so they're not going to get as many points, and they're also going to be slower getting kills. I think because blue team is playing together a lot more. Yeah, Brez coming yeah. up from Zelda here, but it's, just, it's he's going to die again. He's ah, gonna, they yeah. do get a kill on Zartek. Oh, he does have his heals well. Wait, maybe he gets Rezo. Okay, all right, all right, yeah. That, I mean, look at these mesmers. That's I a good start. The, the, yeah. I think the composition of, of the red team, though, is, is so annoying for, for Blue Team. Yeah. They aren't able to snowball it, because even if they kill one player, kind of, I, I guess, uh, Zartek is one of the more damaged. He's like a very, you know, a uh, bit of a squishy, almost like a squishy player, to a certain extent, like with the hollow, as opposed to the the, the mass evasion and blocks big, of the mesmer. Big Gravel as well, going to take out yeah. Zealot. And it's unfortunately just, for the Mirage, he's not going to be able to do anything. Even here, so. when they get a kill, they can't dislodge these Mesmers, right? They can't get no. rid of them. They just and stay here. I feel really bad for Payne. I feel like he's probably going to be having one of the worst games ever. Like, he just, what is he supposed to do? Yeah. Because you, it's like, it's going to be a lot harder for him to plus almost anything here besides the Core Guardian, who's most likely going to be doing most of the rotating anyways. Uh, and, I mean, like, he can't decap. Like, Frosty's just always keeping an eye mm. or, you know, one of the other Mesmers. And he's not like going to be as effective in these team fights because I, okay, these team fights are literally just clones everywhere. It's uh, you know I mean I feel I do feel bad for Payne. There's, I don't think there's much he can do in these fights, unfortunately. Yeah, I, just yeah, as you say, there's just no there's no Game good place been. for him to be, right? There's just nothing what he can really do. Um, and yeah. on this one v one, I think it's you know eventually Frosty. Well, looks like he is going to be able to win this too. Uh, this thing, yeah. you know, the, the dodge, like the spam dodging, like the cleansers will eventually run out for this warrior, and and Frosty will be able to dislodge um, him from this node as well and be able to secure that and kind of lock that out as well. They do get the water red team have the waterfall as well. They get another kill on Belzda as well. So it looks like mid uh, pain is going to go for the big one v three, but I don't know about that one. <laughs> he, he, he wants the cap. He's not even going to get it. And Zartak is going to plus into the warrior as well. Yeah. Sigurdal forced to kite here, forced to kite away. And, and this things look grim. Things look very grim. At here. this at this point, if if blue team don't get a lord and also just hold the map neutral, mm. no, the game's over. I, there, I don't I don't see them coming back into this. Hell I think it's trouble. Just, they they can't get points quick enough. I don't think. Um, yeah. 
It's, 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 it's just, uh, the game's just been slowed down to the point where they can't do anything, right? They, they, they're already not, um, they're not as fast as the red team, but somehow yeah. the red team has slowed them down even more, right? So they look like they're, they're snail's pace right now, like in, in yeah. terms of mobility and just rotation power of these players. Oh, I mean, Zartak is a bit low. So is Belza. It looks like Zartak is, is like, oh no, uh, he the was AED, AFK yeah. for a reason. That's why he was AFK. Gets uh, the AED. Do you, do you want to take a peek at the other map? I, I think I think uh, yeah. This this game is unfortunately more or less. Well, I mean, there could be a clutch comeback, it's, but it's it looks it's possible. closer than it is because again, like I think the point game has been basically the same throughout the entire match, mm. and it's not going to change. And that's that's what that's what really matters here. Like, oh, this is this wait, is a pretty what? interesting. Wait, 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 wait. PVP not real game mode till mounts world versus yeah, world exactly. Game mode. <laughs> I mean, this is a good one. What is the team name? Uh, it's a good team name, and I, I think we we may actually we'll just go ahead and. Uh, Dip into that one, guys, because this is going to be a yeah. well. This is going to. This is pretty much over. I think red team has pretty much got this one under lockdown. Unless something disastrous happens for them, they will end yeah. up winning. So let's go have a look at this game as well, guys. Okay. That's such a okay. good team name. Who is Ooh. that? Oh, okay. This is the oh, Flandre okay. Sakiki Shinin. team. Okay. Yeah. That's what Flandre we have here. And, yeah, and so, I mean, of course, these, these guys are probably the rank one team. Yeah, well. and Black um, Magic guys. Okay. Black I Magic. Is, I don't know who that is either, but he's he's on Thief. He's on SD. Is that Valen? Okay. It's Valen, right? Wait, is it? Is it? Valen Thief? I mean, that has to no, be No, no, right? it's, it's Phelan Thief, not Va- not, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like Valen, man. It does, I mean, it, does sound, it does sound a bit like his name, but I'm not sure if it is him. Okay, I have no idea. Wait, is it- wait, I wouldn't be surprised. Is it on- I actually wouldn't be surprised if it was Valen. Is it an alt account, actually? Because he's in wait, base Valen Thief. Valen is streaming right now, maybe- uh... I think it's alt account. No, isn't it- isn't it the same thing they have as always? The NA Thief, isn't it Maverick? Oh, they, you know, whatever his fucking name is. It's, uh, oh, it's Primal. Oh, it's Primal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Primal. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. okay. I, I couldn't remember which Thief played with him, because I, I, yeah. I was pretty sure that um, Valen had played with an EU team at one point, but I couldn't remember if he'd, if he'd played with these guys or not. But yeah, it's Primal, 100%. All Primal, right. another NA Thief. We, we see very much a, a classic composition from Blue Team. Like, this is what they've won yeah. the month the AT with. It's tried and tested, right? They're going with I mean, they're, the... They're comfortable uh, on it. Yeah, precisely. It's it's with the Firebrand Scourge. Oh, actually, uh, uh, Synod is taken out there, but Mijo is also downstate, so uh, Synod should probably rally here, actually. And Big Zen, Big Zen in the downstate as well. Uh, well more I or gotta less, be honest, anyway. I'm, I'm pretty sad Red Team losing this. I really like their names. Like, well, I like Humongous Toolkit. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, good, dude. I, I do like that. I like Big Zen as well, but it's not going to be enough. Yeah. Uh, and well, blue team are gonna Three be G's. lot. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it's you gotta get you gotta get the extra G's in there to really kind of lock it down. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it's a, a slightly different approach uh, of the necro here, going for. Um, this is like, honestly like the more conventional thing that like, you see this a little bit more often yeah. than than lingering curse. We have the uh, the, le the weakening shroud instead uh, coming out mm -hmm. uh, yeah. from Synodim. Um, by very the way, aggressive, I believe actually. very aggressive. I believe during the last match you did receive a donation. Oh. Hang on, I better go. Uh, I, I didn't read it, but I know I know for a fact you did. So I, I didn't okay. see what it says. Uh, let me go ahead and check that out. I believe it was from uh, Fake Anet Ben P. Okay, is who it was from. Yes, Anet Pen B. He has visited my stream yeah. as well. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, let, yeah. Yes. Uh, let me just go ahead and check that out. Okay, Anet Pen B. I might lose. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck? At least uh, I didn't lose to a person called Humongous Lull. Okay, well there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Fine. Okay. All right. But I mean that's it. That is gonna be uh, that's gonna be GG. And well, there you have it. Is that is this is that gonna be that's our finals? Final? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Okay, right. Frosty's okay, team, look. the Mesmers. Seriously, versus... if if Frosty wins this, this is a hard meme for I'm so be many. I'm so happy, dude. This is gonna I be a fucking does. hard meme for so many reasons. Okay, hang, uh, hang on, hang on. Hey, Roy, as much Roy, as I hate Mirage, <laughs> Roy, Roy, read, yeah. Roy, read DMs, dude. Okay. So it's gonna be PVP, not real game mode till mounts. Versus cold foamers matter, okay? Cold, cold foamers. foamers, yeah. Okay. The helm team, okay? Mmm, this will be uh, extra spicy, guys. Extra, extra spicy. Uh, so, well, we're gonna have double mirage, chrono, hollow, core guard, okay? All right. Versus on the other team. On the other team. Firebrand, Scourge, Soul Beast, Thief, and Rev. Uh, well, that is the classic comp right now. That is um, considered by some to be the meta game, right? Like that is what that is like. What you play, you see a variation of this on NA as well. Of course, they play the Mirage instead of the Thief on NA. But 
Only you. It's the thief. Okay, they love that thief gameplay, guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Reliable hospital. I think reliable hospital is uh, reliable hospital. Not going I, for. Well, there's, there's two schools of thoughts here, Roy. Right on Firebrand. Uh -huh. You either run. Yeah. You run the mantra, or you run the uh, renewed focus. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. My my thought on this is two is two things. One, if you think that you're going to be focused, then you run RF. Like, if you think that you are the best target to be focused on your team, then you run RF, in my opinion. Also, if you're if you if you're just really not as good at kiting, like uh, to be honest, like I'm not very good at kiting, and I have a lot of trouble surviving when I get pressured. To be honest, on Firebrand, so like it might be better for like me to run it. But in my opinion, the mantra is better. Um, it can it can be a really big lifesaver, and it also helps um, with the uh, signal, right? You, you can know, use, like, yeah, yeah the signal exactly, yeah, because you really don't have any self stab application out, outside of F3 there. The soon. And you can obviously use the mantra while you're signal. So let the chat open. Yeah, the chat is open. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, Can you find a real mesmer? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I do. I do have. To, I do kind of feel for blue team here playing against three mesmers. Well, playing against any fun. mesmer, it's not going to be fun. No. I, I'd be um, to say that blue team should maybe just try and play two nodes and just not even try and again, yeah. not I, try and push I, the I three. Think, I think that the last game we saw was closer than the first game we saw against Frostbell's team, and again, it's because they focus more on two nodes. Mm. And I think I think blue team are going to play those two nodes better. So we'll have to see how they do it. But here yeah. we go, boys. This is it. Your February Ooh. monthly AT final. Here it's we the go. Green Dream Team Frosty versus Red your team. TOL champions. Uh, the Red Team were going to push far, but then they saw Blue Team kind of ready for it. So they abort that mission. Just go back for mid by look for this. Who is going to be the target? That's going to be an interesting. Thing. Actually, wow, instant disengage there. Yeah, I think Frosty's really going. I think the Red Team is going to go for like, the well, speed. Yeah, they're definitely 100% going for yeah. the speed play here. They and, immediately and abandoned mid, right? And it just, look it, how quickly Blue Team rotated off yeah. all of that as well. They realize that Frosty's the only. I mean, it takes them a couple seconds because of how many clones there are to realize that it's really only one player. But they do realize it eventually and they rotate immediately and go. Oh, no. This is where this Mesmer strat may actually fall down a little bit here, like Helm already getting hard focused. But one thing about Blue Team that the, the, these guys have a bit of almost like a reputation for is that they do play a lot together. They play a lot of ATs, they practice yeah. a good chunk, they know yeah. how to, yeah. they know how to play with each other as a team, this, right? Okay, that, This is the most practiced team in yeah. the game at the moment, in my opinion. And I think that, and I, I think that will very much uh, help them coming into this, yes. right? Like, that is going to oh, be very handy. Uh, that, if anything can shut down this Mesmer strat, it will be quick decision-making, good communication from these yeah. players. Look, right? I yeah. think this is the first time we've seen Frostball go down, yeah. actually. He, he, yeah, he's actually going to full die here. He's not going to get out of this one. Actually, wait. Oh, no. careful, though. Oh, no, no. Sin and no. going to lock it down. He's going to lock it down. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah, going to make yeah, sure yeah. that's not going to happen. Like, Draza, I don't, I'm not sure he can sustain this 1v2, actually. No, I don't think he can. And they do still have one node, though. To be fair, they do have one node, and Kaz is going to try and secure mid. Helm here as well. Chunsu. Uh, and Sakiki kind of getting ready to get into the mix. Yeah, they're going to go for the push. They don't want to let them get the full cap here. No, they do not. Okay, and with the Thief here as well, I think Kazas would not be able to say that. Actually, oh, actually, the no. Thief going for the decap. I actually really like that. I think that's going to be important. Yeah. Like, uh, I think, like, two nodes and, like, let the Thief decap is going to oh, be a no, really nice way. Oh, Frosty, yeah. Oh, he's, he's Frosty, tries to, yeah. He tries to steal on a Frostball. Uh, yeah. And he is going to be able to get out okay. And I, I got to be honest, like this, this thief is, I think, doing a little bit of a better job. Like staying, he's staying mm. with not, not just like the main team fight because blue team is rotating around these fights a little bit better at the moment than the last game we saw. And the thief is moving with them as well, so he's able to mm. apply a lot of pressure, a lot of single target damage in these fights. But it's not, you know, just five v five, which he wouldn't do as well, in, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so it what, is. It is good. What do you think Helm is supposed to do here? Because he, he he keeps getting like, annihilated, yeah. right? Like they, Helm, they, is, it, Helm is the like the worst class on this in yeah this. core guard it, it just it, it's very susceptible to just getting hard focused right like it, it you know it can't really yeah, get I, away you know it, and i say this all the time yeah. i don't think they're i think i think core guardian works well in ranked but mm, it just falls not, off yeah, in very ATs. hard yeah in comparative and even yeah. in ranked it also falls off yeah and i think i think you can see that here like it just it cannot take 1v1s it mm. cannot team fight as well as other class it applies a lot of burst damage oh, yeah. but if there's any sort of sustain on the enemy team and you don't one shot a player yeah. then I, I mean what are you going to do because you just don't have cooldowns to really survive that long Zartek and it just doesn't really have mobility either yeah yeah it's Hey, it's, he's kind of a pretty easy target, really, for, for the blue team, unfortunately. So, yeah. not not ideal uh, for them to have that there on that comp. Actually, we have the Soul Beast. Flandre in a bit of trouble. Is able to disengage, uh -huh. though. Bre uh, blue team all fairly low, actually. Like, if red team can maybe start to pick up a few kills, they can start to snowball. It is still one node apiece. And uh, Draza yeah. actually nearly getting the very sneaky cap foot. The Thief is able yeah. to kind of deny that. But I'm here we have... Yeah, we got a lot here, here, actually. Or... Oh, Red team is converging. I think they should be able to secure. Yeah, I think they will be. Oh no! Actually, no. Actually, they disengage. No, no, no. They disengage it. This is 
Yeah, and this is a very, and I think that's the right call to make as well. Blue team have their their full team fight there. I think they want to get the decap on mid again. I don't think red team are going to be staying in one place for very long. The only player on their team that's really going to be able to bunker anything synage, for very long is, is Draja. And Sinage gets taken out. Where's actually. the signal? Again, oh, no firebrand! No firebrand! Yeah, should you stay at home? Yeah. And that's what red team are looking for. They yeah. want to get around this team fight very fast. They get the kill. They move off. But no one decaps. No, no one. Oh. <laughs> No! Oh no! Oh, wow. no. Slime they is moved up a little too yeah, fast yeah. there. But well is there. He's gonna be able to get the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the rotation was actually too good. It was yeah, too good. Well, <laughs> no one, no one really able to yeah. move ahead in this game though. It's very yeah. close. There's just, and again, it's gonna be a slow game because again, red team are gonna be moving around the map very quickly for kills. They're not gonna be bunkering nodes. Blue team are gonna try to bunker nodes, but again, if they stay on one node for too long, there's a very good chance that they get killed and they get they lose the rest of the map. So both of these teams have to move around a lot and not really hold nodes. And we see red team pick up two. So again, it's just, it's gonna be slow point game across mm. the map unless one team can absolutely snowball the other. But I don't see blue team being able to do that. Yeah, I, th red I team think have the better chance. There. Right now, I think blues are in a fair bit of trouble. Like we we if you look at the way the map is structured, right, we have red team fully invading and contesting the entire yeah. side of blue. Right, like that node wind windmill is just chipping yep. away. Right. Constantly, like even if nothing happens here, like red team is honestly I, not that side. They do get the decal on mid though, actually, which is nice actually uh, with them um, with uh, the the fire and forcing them off there. But I think red team's going to oh, get far. They're hard the converging. Goes down. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. get Flandry and, and uh, Synod, I think is really vulnerable. There's no firebrand right now. I think Synod's no, in a lot of trouble. Should. Frosty they wants really them to keep their firebrand and and, and scourge uh, together. Scourge. Yeah. Scourge together. Yeah. And I really want to see Primal going for these decaps at far as yeah, well. Like, yeah, yeah, he, last, he, he's The last match on Legacy, there was less opportunity for flight. Uh, sorry, for Pain to do so. I think, but here. He, he might be able to, but oh, now, as I say that, Zartak is there. Yeah. They're, they're watching their home yeah. node very well. They did the last game, too, and I, I mean, I, you know, mm. I, I might have spoken yeah. to you soon when it's I said that strat, I want right? to see these Sides. Yeah. Sides go to red. I think I, I, that's why we, I think that why the kind of the um the, the rocket boots here, the rocket builds, this kind of like a bit of an, like a, almost yeah. like an old or ranked build here coming out from Zartak. Very handy. He's almost able to keep that thief in check, right? That's what, I think that's what and, he's focusing, right? That's, that's again, what you want from this team. Like, all of these players, except for Helm, are going to be able to just have mm. an insane... Helm taken I'm out, I'm almost surprised they don't put Helm on, like, a Revenant. I mean, I think a yeah, Revenant would be Yeah, it would be really game. nice, actually. That would be another super yeah. fun... I mean, in a way, it's, 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 it's almost like a similar role, to a certain extent, right? Like, it's like, uh, yeah, burst, 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 right? Like, but, but Rev is just better. I mean... Yes, I mean, yes, <laughs> Rev is better than, than yeah. Core Guardian, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, again, obviously, it has to do with the player. Helm is just, a, he just yeah. plays Core Guardian, he doesn't play Revenant. Yeah. But definitely, I think Revenant would be more useful here and more impactful in the game as a whole. Chunsu, um, focus <laughs> hard! Oh, he is able to get taken out the double Mirage, yeah. dude. What, what is that? Yeah. And then, what is and, that? <laughs> you know, there's just like this slow... Yeah. Now, yeah. Red Team is slowly, steadily yeah. just pulling ahead a little bit. Again, I mean, the game is almost halfway over. And they haven't yeah. even hit 250 points yet. It's again, it's just it's a slow game mm. when you have, when you play with these comps, uh, because Blue Team are playing. They're although they're not not as well as they could be. They are playing around the map with their comp well enough, in my opinion. Although again, I would have liked to see more decaps. Now we see decap coming up from Primal Ooh, Far. Oh, Sakiki in trouble. I would have liked to see the Scourge and Firebrand more together in these team fights. But again, like they are mostly trying to hold on to two nodes, and Red Team are again just playing playing better, in my opinion. They're just they're getting more kills. Ah, uh, Blue Team and, do get the decap. Uh, Thief gets. Yes, he goes for full cap as well. That's very nice, and they get yeah. the sides. Okay, so they are in a good spot right now. And Draza gets bursted down as well. Very, very yeah. good there. That's that's very good. Honestly, getting rid of Draza is yeah. is is really. They important. need another kill though. They really need another kill to confirm this mid node as well as be able to on to far. That means mid, at the moment, Red, not count. look at. Red team, like they don't even they don't move past far at all. Like they, they they're even going back to pressure. Like they they are playing very very well in my opinion. I I think they are just outplaying blue team. Although again, I think I think Ooh. if blue team play their comp really properly, which it looks like they may start doing now, then I think they will be able to win this game. They haven't if won they can yet, well. I and mean, they need to keep this no. up. Like I think red team cannot be complacent here. They need to keep doing what they've been doing. Like, it is working though. It is working. They are still ahead, yeah. and they might be able. Yeah, they're gonna. They might even be able to like force Chunsu away here actually, or maybe even get the kill on this firebrand. Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, firebrand forced to get out of there. Gotta get the hell out. So much condition pressure coming out from those two mirages. Although Sakiki does arrive. He's able to kind of assist uh, the farmer in getting that contention. And Helm getting taken again. out again. Again. He, again. He's just the outlier. He's the yeah. outlier on this. And, I mean, it's... Thief. Ver oh, yeah. get, tries to decap. No, but Kaz, as he sees the thief, denies the decap. Frosty still contesting. Made it six minutes to go. Ka if Red Team can get far, I think this is really good for them. But I'm not sure if they can win this 2v2. Looks like it's actually... Oh, big oh, oh that's so double so round so roll! Oh, no! Down. That's he's disgusting. As well as Flandre. There's just nothing we can do. No, we do oh, the storm. The they storm. Need to get this kill. Oh, beautiful double grab well from Draza. There, lovely play.
Um, and well, that's you know, it's still a two cap to be fair, but it's actually going to be given up. Like red team are going to get mid, and maybe I think what red team does here, they just like let Draza troll. He's drawn them away. They full cap mid. They've got a two cap. They're pretty happy, right? He doesn't have a ton of cooldowns yeah. though. They, you know, he doesn't have his distort up for a little while. Doesn't have his his uh, split. Does have a seal there right now. Yeah, Zartek and Frosty I mean, have moved in though. Oh, well. Chunsu getting <laughs> so hard bursted here. He's got no tomes. No tomes available right now. He has to disengage. Off oh, Zartek's well. dead though. On him. Zartek's oh, yeah, dead. Unfortunately, just the overextension there. And yeah. and you know, blue team again. They need to take advantage of this. Uh, yeah. fly, oh, sorry, Primal immediately needs to go far and decap. Yeah. Oh, no, he wants to decap mid. Helm counters it oh, though. Oh, they're going for the res. Of Zartek. They're going wait, for the res. Wait, they're not going to get it. There's no way, oh, no, right? No, 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 no. no. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He was yeah. starting to get it, but then the, the, yeah. the rev turned around and cleaned it out. Yeah. But I really, no, I really want to Primal. Okay. Oh, they all yeah. mid. Yeah, I think Primal. And, and that's why I decap. said again. Pro yeah, Primal really needed to go what far. I think immediately. Oh, he got decap mid. I think he might even die here actually. Yeah. I th maybe I, mean, I don't think look, he had I mean, Jorn to get back up there. He's trying. To, he's going to try and contest that. He's going to go for the hold. I mean, this is ballsy. One v three hold. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he does have respawns coming in here. Yeah. Uh, he's got Zartek coming off, and it looks like Frostball pushing back into far yeah. with Draws as well. Oh, and, and Helm really too, and Helm. That's big. I need to leave this now. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 oh no, Primal's trapped in the ring. I think he dies. No, no, he has it. Oh, he's solo. They, they're going to get him. Yeah, they're they're going to go in. He's three percent. One more point. He's going to go down. Is he going to be able to get out? It gets an appeal from the rest oh, of his team. Sinid! Flandre going low himself! Sinid going for the decap he's as gonna he's get playing it. the thief roll. Tired waiting for yeah, Primal and Primal is taken out. Thief. Oh, but I think yeah. he... I mean, Primal is going to get taken out. But Sinid is going to be able to decap there. So, he, he, yeah, he's not going to go for the full cap. There's no way he knows he has no way he gets that. But this is super, super close right now. 20 points in it right now, guys. Draza, want, he wants to do such a Sobeys, but this Sobeys, I think, is doing a great job. I think Flandre is doing a great job of, of kind of denying what was happening last time. Whereas what would happen is, is that Draza would always be on far and win it, right? But that's not happening fast enough for Red right now. They do get mid back, though. Can they hold on to those? Zartak again taken out. I think maybe Blue Team have adapted their strategy. They're now focusing really hard on Zartak and Helm, kind of turning it into a, like a, almost like a 3v5 a lot of the time, right? Like, because they're always just dead. And that, again, they're playing very squishy builds, right? They're playing builds that aren't good at surviving if they get focused. Frosty in trouble as well here. Ten point lead now only for Red. Frosty desperately trying to kite. Rev on him. Sakiki going hard. Is it going to be enough? Like, he is able to disengage. He will get his heal skill up very, very shortly. Midpoint is still uh, contested. No one able to really do anything here. Like, Kazas actually might be able to slowly get this. Where's Helm? Helm is super, super low. He's got his heal, but he's going to die again. Rev takes him out with a big sword to swipe. Yeah, that's all, all they really need to do is take out this outlier again. They, they just need to focus Helm, take him out of the fight, and then they can... Oh, I mean, wait, hang on a minute. Oh, no, Zata goes off nodes. Oh, I think he should have gone for the cap there, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, he, he, he could have capped mids, I think. Tiki, but I don't think he has the follow-up there. And, and yeah, there's Chun Tzu coming in with the sustain. Thief so, decap as yeah, well. Really, yeah, oh, and there we go. Now Primal yep. is doing yep. a good job here with that, with that decap. Zartak. So really oh, Zartak ADs. Good AD. Big AD. Yeah, yeah, it's good AD. Oh, dude, I, I think this Soul Beast has really got this on lock. This is shutting down Red Team Strat. They need, I think they actually need to at least decap uh, the fucking mansion. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Right now, there's two nodes neutral. One cap. Blue Team has managed to creep ahead. There is a kill. Zartak is down. He's dead again. I mean, how we, we see so many, like, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, they, like Zartak and Helm are effectively carrots being pulled out of the ground. <laughs> By blue team and oh boy, it's a five-point carrot, guys. That's what it is. Um, and blue team is looking in a in a really nice spot right now. Actually, not looking so hot. And can Draza maybe do something against the Solbies? Now the heal is available. Sakiki here as well should be able to get rid of him. Frosty comes in uh, for the plus, but I think this Solbies is just out sustaining. Like they can't kill him. Yeah, honestly, I really want to see Helm and maybe even Zartek just focus a little bit more on watching Helm. Mesmer far and mid. And, and troll, but Houses. obviously the problem with that is they they can't they can't leave those two players out of the fight because they need that burst damage to be, take kills out quickly. Um, and unfortunately, it's just uh, Blue Team are just playing around their comps a little bit better now than they were in the beginning of the game. They're not getting they're not getting picked off as as well as they were as much as they were before. The Red decap. Team are struggling to find kills. There's the decap. Helm, Helm again. dead again. Decap. I think it's game. I think I think it's that's game. over. Yeah, it's gonna be a triple cap. Looks like the thief is gonna secure it. He's gonna go for it. He wants it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, again, like, what, Wait, once oh, again... He doesn't, doesn't go for it, then. No, he actually wants to stop. Oh, he's gonna, I, I he's guess, like, the, the Mesmer respawns, right? A little right? bit of BM. Yeah, a little bit of yeah, BM. Yeah, ooh, okay, wow, and there you go. It's going to be a nasty, win. That's game. That's and over. Wow, it was a very... I mean, it looked very bad for, for Blue Team at the start, but I think they figured it out, right? They cracked the code. Yeah. 
Uh, at the end of that, they, they, and they found the real Mesmer. They're able to get the win. Okay. Yeah, but you know what, guys? Just remember, everyone's a real winner. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah.